Hey, good weekend to you. Welcome to Leading Edge. I'm Jerry Anderson. Good to have you guys along. Ahead of the program, the suburban Kumbaya that brought an end to years of city township tension out in one of the most popular and most populous burbs around Toledo. But up first, one of the leading voices in Ohio government. He has been firing strong on some of the very issues that we have been digging deep on right here on Leading Edge. It gives me pleasure to welcome in Ohio's 22nd District State Representative, David Leland, Democrat, Columbus, up north Clintonville area, I think, is where uh, David hangs out most of the time, calls home. He was first elected to the Ohio House when he was 29 years old. That had to be like 15, 20 years ago. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> a successful yeah. lawyer. He yeah. is a partner in a Columbus law firm. And uh, some of us remember when he chaired the Ohio Democratic Party for some four terms. Uh, good to see you, sir. We do believe there is light now at the end of the COVID tunnel. Or it could be the Republican supermajority coming the other way with still more efforts to wrest control away from the governor and the state health director when it comes to health orders during a pandemic. Now, it's being sold to me, to us, as a balance of power initiative. Is it? Well, I think both statements are true. Uh, I, th I do think we have a light at the end of the tunnel, uh, mostly because we're, we're having vaccines that are being distributed across the country. Uh, I just heard that uh, uh, Johnson & Johnson's uh, single dose vaccine, it, it was approved today for, for use in the, in the United States. And so we're gonna have millions and millions of new doses. And I think we have some really exciting efforts coming out of the federal government to coordinate uh, the response to the COVID. But yes, we do in Ohio, we do have people that are fighting uh, the, the, the activities of the governor and the health director um, to, to put more input from the legislature. And I don't mind having input from the legislature. I mean, there was a bill that I supported in the last General Assembly that would have equated a small business and a Walmart the same way as far as closing or keeping open during a pandemic. I don't yeah. think we ought to be picking winners and losers based on the size of the business. We, they ought to be whatever they're selling. If they're selling the same product in a big business or a small business, they should be treated the same way. So I voted for that. Mm -hmm. But some of the measures that we're seeing um, the coming out of the, the Republican majority are, are these micromanage efforts to try to supplant the health director, and, and that just doesn't work because these people don't have the training, they don't have the background, they don't right. have the information, they can't make those kind of medical decisions, this and that's my, the kind of stuff that I would oppose. This is my point, Dave Leland, you're, you're an accomplished attorney, there are a lot of lawyers down in the state legislature, but a lot of those folks have a lot of things. My state senator, wonderful lady, she and her husband own a fast food sandwich shop here in Bowling Green. My state legislature, my my Ohio House representative, Haraz Bari, was formerly the, uh, the veterans liaison at the University University of Toledo, all wonderful people, but I got to tell you, I don't want politicians making decisions affecting my health when we have perfectly good medical experts to advise us. Isn't that the issue, or is this simply a power grab? Well, I think it's a little bit of both. Uh, I think that uh, you're getting a lot of pressure, especially from some of the more conservative right wing part of the Republican Party to push their representatives to to do less as far as the government involvement with the COVID crisis. And, and they're responding. And, and so what they're trying to do is supplant their judgment or their abilities or their or their opinions for those of the health department. And I think that's just wrong. I think we can have government oversight. We don't want the governor to go to 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 run without the kind of advice or from the legislature that we can provide. But we don't want to supplant the the role of the health department. We don't want to take the role of, of scientists and health officials. We don't want to put ourselves in that situation. And those are the types of legislation that I would oppose. I am also troubled when I hear, and it continues. I mean, we're almost to March, folks, 2021. And it continues. All the rhetoric still spewed with words like hoaxes and this is no worse than the flu. Don't get me wrong. Some who are behind the effort, be it Senate Bill 22 or House Bill 311, they certainly have distanced themselves from some of that voodoo talk. But it's more prevalent over there. And that's worrisome to me when we are making society-wide health decisions, isn't it? Oh, it's absolutely. I mean, we just passed 500,000 fatalities in the United States of America. That's more fatalities 
than we had in World War II, World War I, the Korean War, and the Vietnam War all put together, okay? Uh, this isn't something, this isn't just the flu. Uh, this is something, this is a one in a hundred year uh, uh, situation in this country. It's a terrible situation. It's still growing. It's not growing, thankfully, as fast as it was growing just a few weeks ago, but this is a real problem, a one, one in a century uh, crisis for this country, uh, and we have to deal with it. And, and the people that are saying otherwise are just not understanding the facts. Uh, uh, Dave Leon has been very, very strong on another issue close to our hearts, especially up in this neck of the woods. But anybody who uh, is paying utility fees around the state of Ohio, yeah, we're going to talk about some failed nuclear plants and HB6 and all that kind of good stuff. David Leland, my guest, state representative down in Columbus area. This is Leading Edge. We'll be right back after this. <laughs> 